Hiramatsu, as referred to in the Shogun TV show, is based on the real life of Hosokawa Fujitaka, a samurai daimyo during the Sengoku period. The time in Japanese history in which civil wars and social upheavals took place almost continuously in the 15th and 16th centuries, resulting in a time of everlasting war and chaos. Fujitaka was also a respected warrior, poet, and scholar whose great intelligence was noted at an early age. His actions would greatly affect the end of the Sengoku era. This is his story. Born on June the 3rd in the year 1534, Fujitaka was the second son of Mitsubishi Harukazu, who was a highly ranked retainer of the Hosokawa clan. Although Fujitaka was a second born, and belonged to a child house of the clan of Hosokawa, he was adopted by his uncle, Hosokawa Mototosune, when he was but seven years old. It soon became apparent that Fujitaka was no ordinary child. When he was just a teen, he was reported to already be at near master level when it came to swordsmanship. He excelled in martial arts, swimming, and poetry. His intelligence and martial prowess greatly impressed all retainers of the Hosokawa clan. This led to his uncle bestowing upon him the name Hosokawa. The clan was descended from the famous and prestigious Minamoto clan of old, and ultimately their ancestor was Emperor Seiwa, the 56th Emperor of Japan. Born as the second son of a retainer of the Hosokawa clan, a young Fujitaka ascended to the ranks of samurai nobility. In the year 1562, when Fujitaka was a young man, he married Numata Jako, a Japanese noblewoman. One year later, the couple would have a son, named Tadaoki. Hosokawa Fujitaka, renowned for his intelligence and skill with the sword, pledged his loyalty to the 13th Shogun of the Ashikaga Shogunate, Yoshiteru. However, in the year 1565, when Fujitaka was around 29 years old, Matsunaga Hisahide devised a scheme to overthrow Yoshiteru and install Ashikaga Yoshihide as a puppet shogun. The Ashikaga shogunate was in a state of decline and lacked the allegiance of many daimyos and samurai warlords across Japan. Matsunaga Hisahide besieged Nijo Castle, Yoshiteru's stronghold. With no reinforcements from supportive daimyos, Yoshiteru and his dwindling forces were overwhelmed. As a result, the shogun himself was slain. Fujitaka, having aligned himself with the now deceased shogun, faced a pivotal decision to safeguard his future. He would forge an alliance with Oda Nobunaga, who was rapidly emerging as Japan's most powerful daimyo through a series of victorious battles. Yoshiteru's cousin Yoshihide briefly assumed the role of shogun before succumbing to illness in the year 1568. Subsequently, Yoshiteru's younger brother Yoshiaki sought Nobunaga's support, leading to their joint march into Kyoto, with Yoshiaki as the figurehead shogun but it was really Nobunaga who ruled and held supreme power over Japan. Fujitaka would become one of Nobunaga's senior generals. He would fight alongside giants of the age, with other generals of Nobunaga being Akechi Mitsuhide, an extremely warlike samurai general. There was also Araki Magushige, famed for using the Tasen, an iron fan, to save his own life. Toyotomi Hideyoshi was also among Nobunaga's generals. He was originally a peasant, but Nobunaga saw the man's brilliance and worth, and made him a samurai lord. These were but some of Nobunaga's senior generals. In the year 1568, Fujitaka's mettle would be tested at the siege of Shoryuji Castle, where Nobunaga sent him to conquer the fortress due to its strategic location near Kyoto, the capital of Japan at the time. Iwanari Tomomichi was a great samurai who held the castle at the time. However, Fujitaka would personally kill him in battle and was subsequently given the castle by Nobunaga. 
growing his reputation. The next year, the Miyoshi clan would attack the shogun, Ashikaga Yoshiaki, at his residence in Honkokuji Castle. Fujitaka along with Akechi Mitsuhide would defend the shogun and manage to repel the Miyoshi clan, again proving Fujitaka's worth. In the year 1570, Fujitaka fought in the decade-long campaign against the Iko Iki during the Ishiyama Honganji War alongside Nobunaga's generals, Akechi Mitsuhide and Araki Murashige. The Iko Iki were a powerful faction of Jodo Shinshu Buddhist monks and peasants, opposed to the rule of the samurai class. Thanks to achievements in firearms during that era, the Iko Iki movement gained the ability to swiftly emerge as a formidable force, posing a significant threat to the government. This meant that a peasant or merchant could rapidly transition into a proficient mobile cannoneer within a matter of days. Ora Nobunaga's siege of Ishiyama Honganji began in the year 1570. This would be the longest siege in Japanese history lasting a decade. The leader of the Iko Iki was a man known as Abbot Kosa. By the year 1580, the fortress's supplies were nearly exhausted and their outposts were nearly all but destroyed. Nobunaga ordered Abbot Kosa to evacuate the fortress and to leave Osaka. The fortress mysteriously burned down after Kosa left, although his life was spared. This marked another win for Nobunaga. During the war in the year 1573, the shogun Yoshiaki revolted against Nobunaga's dominance, seeking to establish his own control, and called upon the Matsunaga clan to help him. This angered Nobunaga, who made Yoshiaki the shogun through his military might. Nobunaga, in his fury, set fire to Kyoto, causing Yoshiaki to retreat. The shogun fled and was then robbed and assaulted by peasants, leading him to renounce his position as shogun. He then became a Buddhist monk, effectively ending the reign of the Ashikaga shogunate. Fujitaka's lord Nobunaga was now the most powerful daimyo in all the land and was the de facto ruler of Japan, no longer operating through the puppet shogun. Fujitaka would also take part in the siege of Shigisan. The castle was held by Matsunaga Hisahide and his son Kojiro. During the siege, Hisahide, who was responsible for the murder of the late shogun Yoshiteru, would frequently change his allegiance and was seen as too dangerous to be left alive by Nobunaga. During the siege, Hisahide knew his end was near and he committed seppuku and ordered his head to be destroyed so it could not be presented to Nobunaga. His son grabbed his head and jumped off the castle wall with a sword to his throat. An extremely powerful daimyo and political player had just been vanquished, along with his clan. Fujitaka had now taken part in many battles for Nobunaga and was growing into a wealthy lord. He built Tanabe Castle and became its daimyo. In the year 1582, Oda Nobunaga was undoubtedly the most powerful person in Japan. However, he found himself vulnerable at Honoji, nestled deep within his domain, surrounded primarily by court officials, merchants, and numerous servants. With the majority of his soldiers deployed in various campaigns, only a limited force remained to safeguard him, as there was little fear that anyone would dare attack Nobunaga. Exploiting this opportunity, his most trusted general Mitsuhide unexpectedly betrayed his master. Nobunaga would be overrun, as he only had a small garrison with him, compared to Akechi Mitsuhide's 13,000 men. Nobunaga fought until he was injured by a spearman. He then entered the back room of the temple and committed seppuku. His body was never found, as it was consumed by the inferno that soon engulfed the temple. Fujitaka had a difficult decision to make. 
his son and heir Tadaoki, was married to Akechi Mitsuhide's daughter named Akechi Tama, so the two men had family ties. However, Fujitaka ignored Mitsuhide's summons and cut all ties with him. Akechi Mitsuhide began negotiations with the imperial court and tried to establish himself as the shogun. However, another of Nobunaga's generals, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, would rush to be the first to avenge Nobunaga and kill Mitsuhide. Hideyoshi's forces caught Mitsuhide's army off guard, which resulted in the Battle of Yamazaki, in which Hideyoshi won. Mitsuhide would flee the battle upon seeing his cause was lost, but was later killed by a gang of bandits. Hideyoshi, although born a peasant, would take Oda Nobunaga's place as the most powerful daimyo in Japan after a series of battles. During this time, Fujitaka would delegate his status as daimyo to his son Tadaoki. However, he remained active in politics and still had a large amount of warriors loyal to him. He would advise both Hideyoshi and the rising warlord Tokugawa Ieyasu in many matters. Hideyoshi would inherit many of Nobunaga's vassals, but also his rivalries, one major one being the warrior monks of Japan. He would go to war with the Negoru Shu, who were an order of monks famous for their skills with firearms. Hideyoshi would besiege their Buddhist temple of Negoro-ji. Fujitaka would take part in the siege and helped set fire to the temple. As the inferno raged on, the monks would run out of the complex. Fujitaka's samurai would then cut them down, leading to the temple being destroyed and Hideyoshi's victory. For Fujitaka's aid, Hideyoshi granted him with a retirement estate and a generous income. Fujitaka's battle days, however, were not over. In the year 1587, the samurai lord was 53 years old and would take part in the Kyushu campaign. Having subjugated most of Japan, Hideyoshi turned his attention to the southern island of Kyushu. Kyushu had only been recently unified by the Shimazu brothers. Yoshihisa was the eldest and was the head of the clan. However, the various island daimyos had turned to Hideyoshi's side, and Yoshihasa would sue for peace. Fujitaka would negotiate with Yoshihasa and his brother Yoshihoro, a skilled samurai general. Yoshihasa and Yoshihoro would surrender, and the elder Yoshihasa shaved his head and became a Buddhist monk. As a result, his life was spared. Due to Fujitaka's skills with negotiation, resulting in the war ending early, Hideyoshi granted him an estate in the Osumi province. The two former enemies would become friends, and it is said that Fujitaka would teach Yoshihasa classic literatures, portraying Fujitaka's intelligence. Toyotomi Hideyoshi had ascended to the rank of Chancellor of the Realm. He had united most of Japan and was its de facto ruler. However, in the year 1598, he would grow ill and suddenly died. Upon his death, he established the Council of Five Elders to ensure his son Hideyori took his place as the ruler of Japan. However, warlords and daimyos were making moves in the shadows as the death of a ruler breeds chaos. As Hideyoshi's influence diminished following his passing, two main factions emerged. Tokugawa Ieyasu asserted dominance in terms of rank, seniority, reputation, and overall sway within the Regency government, commanding the allegiance of numerous daimyos in eastern Japan. Conversely, Ishida Mitsunari rallied support from the loyalists of the Toyotomi clan and lords from western Japan. Fujitaka's son Tadaoki would ally himself with Tokugawa Ieyasu. Their initial mission was to confront Uesugi Kagekatsu, suspected of rebellion against Ieyasu. Leading to Ieyasu and Tadaoki's departure from Osaka Castle, 
Fujitaka's son Tadaoki would eventually take part in the Battle of Segigahara as part of the Tokugawa vanguard. While Fujitaka was inside his Tanabe castle, 15,000 troops of the Western Army would besiege his fortress, as Fujitaka's son Tadaoki had sided with Ieyasu, the leader of the Eastern Army. Fujitaka only had around 500 men to defend the fortress, and this could only mean certain death. Fujitaka's wife, Jako, would also contribute greatly to the castle's defences. During the siege, she would don her armour at night and visit the men on watch to boost their morale. Additionally, she created a chart detailing the banners of enemy units that either fired harmlessly or used powder without musket balls. She believed if her Hosokawa clan survived the siege, it would be partly due to sympathisers among the enemy. The commanding general of the siege held her husband Fujitaka in extremely high regard, which tempered the aggression typically seen in samurai sieges. Instead, the attackers amused themselves by firing cannons loaded only with gunpowder at the walls. Fujitaka surrendered only after receiving an imperial decree from Emperor Go Yose, but this occurred 19 days before the Battle of Segigahara, preventing him and his attackers from participating in the battle. Following the Eastern Army's victory at Sekigahara, Fujitaka and his son Tadaoki would receive rewards from Tokugawa Ieyasu. The Hosokawa clan would become one of the clans loyal to the Tokugawa shogunate, and Tadaoki would become extremely powerful after his clan's many rewards from the new ruling family of Japan. Fujitaka would die in the year 1610, at the age of 76. He was born as a second son, and was adopted into his uncle's Hosokawa family, earning the name due to his brilliance. His house became the main branch of the Hosokawa through Fujitaka's battle prowess, intelligence, and strategic alliances. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you all soon for another History Profile.